Hey guys, Game Prime here, and I have a little bit of breaking news regarding Sly. And this, I I can't believe I'm about to say these words. And now it's not the words that everybody's looking for, but it's still great news. So PlayStation just put out a article on the PlayStation blog that says, "Get ready, Days of Play celebration kicks off on May 29th." They do this every year. Days of Play, you know, they celebrate. Not only PlayStation as a brand, but they give deals, you know, a bunch of stuff to celebrate the PlayStation brand. And they announced PlayStation uh, Plus games for next month, uh, PlayStation Plus games coming to, uh, you know, the... I'm so flustered I can't even find my words. Anyway, let me get to the exciting part. Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus is coming to PS5 to be and you're going to be able to purchase Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus not stream it because the only way it's able to be played right now is if you stream the Sly collection you can purchase starting on June 11th you can purchase and keep Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus Sly 1 and you could play it on PS4 or PS5 I I cannot believe that I have uttered those words. Now, as far as a little uh, backstory goes, or damn, I'm so flustered. I, I can't even talk about this. A couple months ago, there was talks about them fixing the PS2 emulator for PS5 or PS4, PS5 because of the new emulator that they have for PS1 and PSP games on PlayStation Plus. You know, if you have one of the higher uh, higher tier subscriptions, you could just download them for free, or you could purchase them. That's what this is going to be for Sly 1. And these are much better emulators that they've built for these games. And I've, I've played a couple of them myself on a on PS5, me, me and my friends have played some as well. They're pretty good emulators. They 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 remind me a lot of the emulators that Nintendo uses on NSO, and I know a lot of people don't really like them, but you know you have fast forwarding, you have saves, you have all kinds of stuff like that. Um, up rendering, custom video filters, you name it, they got it. Um, but that's what this is and this is great news not only you know for them to finally get PlayStation 2 games out on the store for people to play download and you know purchase but this is great news for Sly because this is the first time in 10 years a Sly game has been available to to purchase like a like a new release so to speak the last release that we had was 10 years ago today actually the Sly Collection for PS Vita. And that was the last main quote unquote release Sly has had. And here we are 10 years later, and now we're getting the PS2 original version of Sly 1 on PS4 and PS5 to purchase, play, and download. It's just. It's insane. After the last couple weeks of, you know, those, I wouldn't even call them rumors, because Jeff Grubb said he just hopes that, you know, a team's working on Sly, he never said that they were working on Sly, I have a whole video of me talking about that situation, if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link in the bio if I can remember, but he pretty much just said he hopes that they're working on Sly, not that a team was, and then there was a 4chan leak that had Sly on it, and that's faker than a $3 bill, but still, the hope is slowly coming back and now that this has happened it's raising my eyebrows a little bit more than you know ever before and it's also great news because that means sly 2 and 3 can't be that far behind if they're gonna release one they're probably gonna release two and three but this you know it's also great news if you're a fan of the ratchet and clank series and the Jack and Daxter series because they're probably going to be releasing those games as well sometime down 
the road in the future. Now, Jack is going to be a little bit tricky because they already did uh, ports of them for PS4 back in 2017, and they were not that great. They were kind of iffy. But they made uh, physical versions of them through limited run games, collector's editions. I don't know if there's going to be a way for them to upgrade or completely fix those to run in the new emulator. They might just have to do, they might just have to do them again, and that's gonna be a little shitty because then people are gonna have to buy them again. But that's a bridge they could cross whenever they feel like it. Ratchet, uh, the original PS2 Ratchet games were never available on. PS4, same thing with the Sly game, so, you know, put them in that new emulator and get the ball rolling, and then the, there's just so many good PS2 games that they could put on there, too, with this emulator, like the God of War series, uh, probably plenty of the Gran Turismo, I'm trying to look at my PS2 games right now, but that just later down the road, I'm sure Sly 2 and Sly 3 will come, and if we get Sly 2 and Sly 3 in the next two to three months, and I'll quote Grub here, pie in the sky, we get a Sly 4 remaster. If we get a Sly 4 remaster for PS5, then we know something's up. But that's just me, you know, completely smoking a different whole thing of hopium. But this is great news. I hope everybody goes out and buys this. It's probably going to be 10 bucks. I can't imagine it's going to be any more than that. But... Uh, June 11th is when it comes out, also alongside it, uh, Tomb Raider Legend, I believe, and a Star Wars game, and then also they announced for Days of Play that anybody who has a, uh, PS Plus membership starting on, um, May 29th, you can get, uh, avatars for, for free. And you can find them on the PS Plus webpage or visit the Days of Play page on your PS5 or PS4 console to get the voucher code. These avatars are free for all PlayStation players to redeem. Stay tuned for more free avatars during Days of Play. And one of the new avatars is of Sly. And this, is, this also was interesting to me because I believe this is brand new Sly artwork. And it looks pretty good. It, it's very, it's very Sly One reminiscent. And I'm just wondering who made it. I don't know. I don't. I doubt we're gonna be able to find out who designed or and drew this version of Sly. Don't know if it's uh, Dev Madden. Um, it kind of looks like it could be, but you know, it's still an awesome looking avatar, and I'm gonna use the hell out of it. I've been rocking that Sly 3 emblem that they've had since the PS3 days. So, this is just fantastic news though for Sly fans and I mean just it's it's incredible for the first time this native the native version of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, the PS2 version, will be available to play, purchase, buy, download on, you know, modern systems. And it's just, it's fantastic news. And this, this, like I said, this marks the first release in the Sly series in 10 years. So, I don't know if anything's happening, but man, this is still great news for all of us. And you know I'm going to be playing the hell out of uh, Sly 1 when it comes to PS4 and PS5 and, you know, the next couple weeks. And this also just dawned on me again. I believe those PS1 and PSP games have trophies. So that means we're probably going to get another set of trophy lists for these games and I don't know if they will completely match the uh, Sly collection and PS Vita version of Sly 1 or if it's going to be a completely new trophy list but I'm going to platinum the hell out of this game and 
I'll probably even record it. So, well, I definitely am going to record it. I will make sure I'm right there, you know, when it releases, ready to, ready to, ready to go. But I can't believe I've been yapping on about this for 10 minutes, but I, this is just incredible news. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did not expect to see sly news this just in, in general it's fantastic and another thing that I, I thought of earlier after I saw this was that limited run games could do a physical version of this now they could do a physical version of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus just like they did with the Jack and Daxter games on uh, PS4 from when they released a couple years ago because this is a you know purchasable purchasable game that you could get they could burn the game onto a disc and sell it and they've done that for a lot of games uh, I don't think they've done it for any of the PS1 or PSP games yet but they can print money with a Sly 1 collector's edition that is a readable Thievius Raccoonus and it comes with a CD and art book and who knows oh my god I would I'll, I'll buy two <laughs> they, they they could get so much money uh, but let's uh, let's just start with supporting the release and buying the hell out of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus when it comes out on PS4 and PS5 on June 11th I believe it's just gonna be one version I think I don't think it's going to be two versions you buy one version you get both PS4 and PS5 so you're set you know no matter what console you have uh, but at this point uh, I'm going to be making so much content on it. I'll probably do a video on both just for the hell of it to, you know, see if there's any difference. But yeah, fantastic news. This could be, this could be, probably won't, but this could be the start of uh, a little bit of a resurrection. But at the end of the day, who knows? In, in a year's time, we might have Sly 1, 2, and 3 on PS5. And if that's all we're going to get for a long time then at least we have it there and we'll have it at our disposal anytime we want and you know that's that's that itself is incredible but let me know if you guys are going to be picking up Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus on PS5 or PS4 when it hits June 11th I can't believe it and get that PS Plus avatar and rock it Oh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will be back for any other breaking news updates and any other crazy shit that happens with Sly. Thanks for watching. Buy the game on June 11th. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.